Perdida. So, all that is microbes. Then we add uh, the honey itself. And always remember the molasses, molasses should always be thick, very thick. So we don't need much because we have already added microbes. And then use your hand. Other than using stick, use your hand so that you can uh, mix well molasses with microbes. And because this is a uh, yellow maize, we don't need so much molasses. We don't need so much microbes because they already have sugar in them. So we just need a, a very little amount. very sweet but i'm eating bacteria so once you are done you have to take your watering can and then go to uh, you start with the edge Make sure there is a that a mixing of uh, the mixture we use your folder. So, by the way, I'm using two watering cans, but I'm not, uh, uh, Once you are done with that, I remember I forgot to put the top body. So we don't need much. So 
So this one kg, but uh, is enough for our work today. So you mix like that, and then uh, so now the work begins. Yes, you're done. So those are my brothers. There, Kaza. <laughs> so this is how you are supposed to roll. So rotate. So Rudy Numa, yep. Just like that, and that's how you are supposed to roll the drum, so that there can be the complete, uh, yeah, up and down, forward and backward, yeah, so that you can uh, remove all the oxygen that we, we don't need oxygen, yeah, once you leave oxygen, uh, your silage will rot, and uh, for now we don't need that. Uh, because that will be very very expensive yeah so that's how you are supposed to roll the drum if you are using drums this for the scales uh small scale farmers or upcoming dairy farmers you don't have to invest so much uh with the money that you don't have just use the locally available resources like we have drum you put on water yeah and then you start compressing the way they are doing you see so they will keep on doing that until all the area it has been covered yeah and always ensure that your papers uh, they are straight straightened enough if you leave a space there will be a space for oxygen and we don't need that yeah so you should always uh, watch that then always make sure after you have done that uh, you have to go through that as you can see what they have been doing yeah so this is a work guy it is somehow cumbersome but you have to keep on doing it yeah nothing easy no, nothing good comes easy you have to work for it yeah always ensure at the edge that uh, you do it well but uh, if but you don't have to to go deeper into the corner because you will tear the paper and we don't need that so we don't need that so what we do we usually do is uh, you use people to, to to compact yeah you can learn they can dance they can jump on it yeah and once you do this this is what we call now the silage making process yeah the compacting process you don't need hungry men to do this this requires a, a lot of energy so as you can see my brothers there they are doing all they can yeah to compress and to, uh, to make sure that there is no oxygen left yeah and if you see any space left, the best thing that you can do is to fill it with the uh, folder that is already in a bunker. Yeah. So that's a process that we use for compacting the uh, the silage when you are making silage. We want to make sure that there is no air left. Yeah. Once they do these, they have to go all the edges. Yeah. They jump all, all the edges. Yeah. You have to rotate it now. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's all. Yeah. 
then they have to repeat the same same process but in a different area now at the center so anything is possible if you put your your mind your focus onto it anything is possible guys anything is possible So remember we do this layer by layer yeah we put a little bit of uh, fodder we compact the better but you don't put all fodder then you compact at once no you go layer by layer yeah and once you do that there is a guarantee that uh, your fodder will be inside security you will not incur any losses your storage won't rot so these are the thing that you should uh, be very keen when you are doing the compaction yeah the chopping size you must observe that yeah uh, make sure the paper like as you see these these are brand new for it in paper that we are using ensure that it doesn't have any holes yeah so guys so we should uh, be very observant when it comes to when you are making silage because this silage will uh is a has a nutritional value to your animals and you want to make something good yeah we say the ratio was uh, 1 is to 3 that is uh, one part of uh, molasses and uh, three parts of water and then we had to add something we call microbes yeah we had to add something we call microbes so for now i'm using microbes from uh, a company i'm not paid to to show you the company but uh, for the weeding farmer most of you in in kenya you can buy these uh, livestock uh, microbes from uh, mora Press. a 20 liter goes for 1800 at the current price and uh, it has some instruction uh, on how you are supposed to use like that you can pause the video and uh, read uh, read that yeah so it contains organic acid lactic bacteria beneficial yeast prototypic bacteria all that so uh when you are using microbes the amazing thing is uh, you can you you can be able to use your silage for uh for three days yeah you can use uh it can be good for the cow for within three days yeah so we have other inoculants uh people use but for me i prefer for me, whoa, 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 whoa. for me i prefer using uh for me i prefer using uh microbes yeah so you must be very keen so to make sure that the, the paper does not come out if it comes out that is bad bad news so always watch on that and that's why we say you use your feet uh, on the you use your feet on the at the edges yeah of the walls yeah so that uh, you can observe su su such mistakes yeah so this is it guys so keep on watching and i keep uh, educating you more on this so after that so you have to go to the edges uh, like what they are doing to make sure there is a complete compaction yeah as you can see there uh, they can even run on it yeah all to all corners to make sure that uh, they have uh, <laughs> compacted very well boss <laughs> yeah yeah like the, the way yeah like that so you have to go all around even here you have to make sure that they go all around uh doing that yeah you see
yeah so after they have done that then we have to start the process again we put on forage uh we call we add morasses we add the mixture of morasses the mixture mosha check it angalia nini itokane pepper yeah so unaishikilia then unaenda hivi yeah you have to make sure that is a complete compaction yeah and you have to be very careful not to tear the paper because once you tear that will be the entry of the oxygen and uh, we don't need that oxygen for now so you have to watch that guys you have to watch that we be, be very keen on that yeah so once you do that uh, you bring uh for the again and then you have to flatten so that uh, the drum will pass very well So it is present then uh we add uh, the same process we add uh uh morasse you know we sprinkle morasse and that's how you should uh, you start with the edges una kokuta So you start with the edges. She she can you can now right hand. Oh uh uh oh go. Uh huh. Oh do you eh rekia? Eh Ivo. All corners eh Ivo. You should not add so much water because. Uh, water contains what we call SH2O and uh, oxygen is not a good uh, preservative so keep on doing that to make sure all traces is uh, spread uh, evenly as you can see Okay, in Guinea. So remember, this is a mixture of uh, microbes, uh, morasses. We have uh, toxin bider. And at the center, we'll put, I will add something we call mineral salt. Yeah. And why are we adding mineral salt? Uh, to cater for uh, missing what? Uh, for calcium, uh, things like those. Yeah. Hapo kwa mgu yako, hapo kuliko kwa mgu kuna space. Yeah, just kuja tu. Atulaki kumonga mingi. Na hapa lile. He. Yeah. That is it. Now, the process still continues now. 
drawing the drum again. So remember, we do this for each and every layer. Yeah, we do this for each and every layer. Yeah. Okay. So, like now that, that space, you have to take some folder and bring there, yeah. Because here we never, uh, yeah, like that, but not so much, just like that, and then folder. I got to folder the dog up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, she's here. Yeah, just like that. So that is you can cover the, the space that the drum was in. So the, the the process continues for each and every layer. So it is a tiresome task, but uh we are equal to the task ta task ahead. Yeah. Today our main focus was this and uh they are not getting tired anytime soon, yeah. So we keep they keep on doing that, uh, yeah. They keep on doing that, so that they, we eliminate as much oxygen as possible, yeah. Some use tractors, yeah, but those are large scale farmers. But for me, uh, I'm using what we call drum, the rock area available resource. I put on. Uh, water this is like 250 liters of water is very very he heavy uh it can't be rolled by one person so that's why you're using two people to do the work yeah so it is easy as we do it so watch around as uh, we make our silage so the process continues uh, after all that uh, must make sure that the edges look at how uh is flat that's how it's supposed to be so we are going to introduce another ingredient uh, called uh, mineral salt as you can see there so we are going to use this yeah and we are going to spray uh to spray inside mashaka <laughs> so we are going to introduce something else yeah called mineral salt as you can see here you see this so we are not going to mix to mix it with the uh, molasses because remember morasses are sugar and uh, uh, so what you do is uh, you just spray like this uh, Yes. Uh, just like that and then uh, the process continues 
we add uh, more powder we compact until our powder is uh, after we are done with our powder so it's a small step by step process uh, that we will keep on doing yeah so that's our folder we have not yet got that but we have uh, so we are now removing from there to there from there to there this is just a bunker we have partitioned so let's continue uh, with our silage and i'll keep you updating on each and every step so i'm using these uh, mineral salt because I outsourced uh, fodder from somewhere else and uh, I don't know about the the nutritive value about, of that fodder so I just want to add these so that I can make uh, I can value add my silage so keep watching so the process continues yeah you have to make a flat table so that the the drum will pass uh, with effort stress tray without uh, so much straining. Then we add uh, we add the mixture of morasses and microbes. Yeah, we keep on doing that. We keep on doing that. Yeah, but you have to put a, re a very little uh, layer so that uh, the compaction should would be good. So the same process, uh, morasses. Morasses. Just two are enough. Check it out. So you start uh, from the edges. From the edges. Today is a very very cheery day as you can see. The weather is very very not, not conducive, conducive at all. You have to make sure all traces uh, your prime morasses the mixture at all traces. Okay, so we continue the uh, process of throwing uh, the drum. Yep, and the process keep on uh, continues. Uh, yeah.
Saya mas yo. 